good early cold morning we daily vlog so if you enjoyed today's video make sure you come back again and again and again i am walking to my first orange theory fitness class it is 5 20 in the morning class is at six but since this is my first time i have to like do 30 minutes of like questioning and paperwork and blood samples now just have to go before to like get the low down um but we'll see i haven't signed up yet because this is like a trial i think this is how they require you to do it um my idea is to go four times a week or four times a month uh, but we'll see how this one goes Here we are, everybody. A little nervous. Very excited. Wish me like, oh, no one's here. Wait, maybe. That was a fun workout. Um, so anybody who doesn't know Orange Theory, got a couple of friends that are uh, devout followist. So I thought I'd give it a good try to do good, uh, to incorporate cross training into my training regimen, considering I'm getting ready for a 81 mile two day run in the mountains of Canada next year. You do three parts. There's running, a rowing machine, which I've never done rowing, even though I had a friend in, that I worked at in Disney who was like a big like actual rower because she had a boat, she'd go out rowing. And that is a very intensive all body workout, which I loved. And then some uh, weight training too, which is good for me because I've never done that to learn the different lifts and everything. Um, so I'm gonna come back Friday actually because they didn't have the like sample um, heart monitor because it's all heart heart rate zone based. So I'm gonna come back Friday for a free class before I actually sign up. But I'm gonna do a sign up anyway. Um, they have a little deal going on. It is like a uh, the difference. It's not standardized pricing across the country. It's by studio, and I think the same person owns all the ones in Chicago. And because it's City Life, you know they're a little bit more expensive than I thought. Um, well, not that I thought that 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 you find online uh, compared to the like countrywide average, but investing in my health, investing in my family, and investing in some ridiculous trail runs next year. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, tap that toe. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, dance it. Not dance it out. Not dance it. Dance it. Dance it out. Merry Christmas. Happy Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving week. Don't clunk your forehead. Jamesy, you got you got a chip on the couch. You got a chip on your shoulder. Over there. <laughs> Good afternoon. I know Peter has already vlogged today. But I just wanted to say hello. Jamesy. We'll not take a snooze this afternoon. <laughs> He's dancing, he's happy, he just isn't in the mood for a nap, right? Yay! Yay. Um, we're watching A Christmas Story, which we just downloaded to our Apple TV last year. And it's one of those movies that we typically would only watch like on TV when they do it like 24 hours from Christmas Eve to Christmas. But it is one of our favorites, and I think one of our family's... Like, <laughs> most quoted movies um and i realized that we had it i'm i'm you know i've been cir circulating through all of our christmas movies and now i'm like hmm, like what one haven't we watched and i was like we actually have we've had it on dvd but it's just like so much easier to just put it on on the apple tv so this is the first time that james actually watched it and he he's like paying attention um so we got that on Maybe there will be a nap at some point today. Uh, but he got a lot of new toys yesterday from his birthday party. So we've been having fun playing with those. I want to show you one of our family's most quoted moments of this movie. Right here. Oh yeah? There's a lot of people waiting here, so get going. Okay. So me and Jamesy are just playing blocks, and he learned something new. Watch, Jamesy, high five. Good job. <laughs> high five. 
Oh, two high fives. <laughs> Yay. Good job. It's a 3 p.m. update. I am sore. An hour left of work on this Monday of the holiday week. Three day week. Two hours, two days, six hours of work. Um, but I'm feeling sore, but I'm, it's a good kind of sore. And also Sarah ruined part of my day because I forgot that uh, today was supposed to be an off day for my running. But also Saturday I was supposed to run and I told Sarah that I was going to swap Saturday and Monday because she texted, she was like, hey, are you going to go on a run later? And I was like, no, it's Monday, it's my off day. Plus I went to Orange Theory and she's like, but remember you swapped? And I said, your elephant-like memory is my enemy sometimes. So I'm gonna go on a three mile run later. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. And you are such a trooper. Should we tell them what happened? So Evie got blood work done because she is having a teeth cleaning procedure done in December and she'll like be going under for it. It is the first time she's ever had this done. It comes with like her healthcare, like it's called, I don't know, like a pause plan, something along those lines where like we pay monthly and then like just routine care is covered and then other things are included like this teeth cleaning. Um, and she's four, so it's about that time where like, we just really wanna take really good care of her teeth. Sorry about this rag right here, that's our sink. And so she got the blood work done and everything came back great except for one of her kidney numbers. So there was like three different kidney numbers. I don't know exactly what they were testing, Evie, Evie. So there are three different things that they tested for. Two of them were normal, one was slightly elevated, like barely elevated. So before they do the procedure, they wanted to do a urine analysis, which is different than I expected. They like, on an ultrasound, find her bladder and use a needle through her stomach to get um, urine directly from her bladder so they know that there's no contamination. We went in to have it done tonight and she had, her, her bladder was empty and it was too small to have anything. So we have to go back tomorrow. So I feel bad she went, she didn't get poked today but there's definitely just anxiety brought upon her going to the vet's office at all. So like I said, she's great. She's always goo gooed and gaga over at the vet cause she's so stinking cute. Um, so we'll have to go back for that tomorrow. But now Peter's done with work and I'm going to do some cooking. So tonight's dinner is portobello fajitas. If you wanna take a look at the recipe here, they're actually all online too. I did not know that. I had just Googled one when I was like doing information for the vlog the other day and I saw them all online. So that's kinda cool. And then here are all of our ingredients. This one is totally plant-based. Alrighty, so we have some jasmine rice going and just water. There's also some lime zest in there and some salt. We got portobello mushrooms chopped up, green pepper chopped up, some red onion, and tomatoes all diced. And now I just put pinto beans and two thirds cup of water in this pot. Once that simmers, I add in vegetable stock concentrate interesting I think we're like kind of making our own refried beans um, and then we'll smash them up and the rice is almost done and I'm adding lime to that we got our veggies cooking with Cuban slices and really we just have to mash the beans and dish it up and here is our final Yay! presentation this looks really good Jamesy was ready for it <laughs> Good. The sauce on top is a, a vegan chimchurri crema. It's pretty good. Go Luca! I love how much he loves that last scene. It's so cute.
Oh, Evie's being a guard dog. <laughs> you like him out? And those pedestals? He's so funny now. He knows things will fall if he touches them. So he's like becoming gentle. Wow. He like hovers his hand above it. Oh. I promise one day. He's being drama over there. That's all fake. Um, I promise one day I'll get my hair cut. Soon. I'm really bad. I haven't. I don't think I like the Floyd's barbers up here as much. I know. I just like. I feel like when I'm in Chicago, I can find like a barber that I will like resonate with and connect with. I should go back to the place we went on Halstead that we just like walked in that one day. That guy did good. Anyway, I'll get my hair fixed one day. Hope you guys don't mind. And say why you're not running. Oh, I decided I was not running, even though we swapped the days, because here's the thing. Um, I mentioned in this morning's clip, I think, that Orange Theory has a special right now that if you buy the the eight classes a month, so two a week, that the second month's free. And my initial plan was to do one class a week until next month and then start doing two. Because usually they like tell you that's a good progression, like one a week for the first month, two a week for the second month, three a week, so on. But I'm not going to do more than two because of how much running I'm going to be doing. So, the reason why I'm not going running today, this is my excuse, and it's just an excuse, is uh, because now that I'm just going to go jump right into doing two Orange Series a week, starting this week, like I scheduled Friday morning already, um, is that Mondays and Fridays are typically the, are supposed to be my off days for running, um, but those are not going to become my Orange Theory days. So, I essentially won't have like an off day from fitness, which I think ultimately is a good thing because I'll have like lighter days and heavier days when it comes to running, but like it's healthy to get your heart raised every single day, but I might just need to occasionally bring back my two low days of running to like super low days, like pretty much the occasional like power walk or just a one or two mile shakeout rather than like the thick of my training where like a low day might be six miles. Because right now my low days are four miles. Um, so we'll see. I'll make adjustments as my body tells me to. I think I'll become the most fit I have been ever in the coming months. And I, I, I say that specifically the word fit because I think I'll gain muscle, think I'm going to lose weight, um, but I'll probably be the most healthy and fit ever because I, at my skinniest two years ago, that was like 30%, 40% due to like mental like my mental state of being basically undiagnosed depressed at the time because of sweet pea um but I'm, I'm excited that like to get me strong and fit so i'm not even really going to care about my weight i usually don't it's going to be all about how i feel when it comes to like my soreness and my muscles and my legs and my energy levels so i didn't think i was going to do this peter ramble but here we are we're going to show my bump and then go to bed. So you have an early morning tomorrow. You know what you think. Okay. Can you see? Is there a bump? <laughs> there is. I can tell. There's, that's our baby. Yeah. Well, what's crazy is that even though the bump isn't big yet, mm -hmm. like, it feels like a bump already. Like, it feels right. like a pregnant it belly. Like All around bump. is firm. Like, it's right. a pregnant, pregnant belly already. Yeah. Right, and I feel like with James, that didn't happen for a while. But, uh -huh. I mean... My body's probably just like, let's go. Let's do it again. Let's so have more I'll be babies. 15 weeks on Wednesday. Nice. It's going by fast. We were supposed to watch Tick Tick Boom. He's guarded. But then James woke back up. Yeah, it's late and Sarah was editing. So I'm watching um, Christmas Prince, the second one, The Royal Wedding. I haven't seen it. <laughs> I love these movies. <laughs> you do. And. One day closer to the holiday, like your holiday time off. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.